Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. So I will try to clarify one aspect that was um, seen by um, one of our viewers here. Thank you very much for your observation. Uh, I actually uh, did think uh, at the beginning when I have recorded my first video this is a problem with Postman because I have seen previously plenty of problems with uh, with Postman uh, caching the headers uh, and things like this and uh, usually uh, the Postman uh, manages to clear the, the caches uh, when you read a request or something like this and because of that I didn't think it's actually a problem with the framework because that's very unusual and not really it doesn't really uh, happen often but in this case I really think it might you you might have found a problem with the framework itself but of course it's a very small one and it was uh, enhanced uh, by the fact uh, by, by the way I, I did implement my example here so I will explain you in this video why uh, why in, in the in the answer in the previous answer you found regarding CSRF tokens you had to um, uh, actually generate the tokens twice first First, which I don't consider is a good thing related to the Spring security itself and it might be some kind of a lack of implementation. Uh, anyways, I have debugged a lot and I've seen a lot of things that I don't really consider to be really nice in the implementation, but that's another aspect of the thing. Let's see the uh, explanation for why why the behavior looks like that so I, i'm reusing now the same application uh, i've previously done for my video but now um, i have actually um, added one more thing so in previously i only had this filter and in the filter i uh, i'm logging i'm set, setting the value on the response header so that that was my example i took the value from the the header and then i used it in the in the request and then what i've what i've tried to to see um, what happens to make it my life easier i've simply system out it in the console so this is what happens here from uh, the uh, filter I print out the CSRF token in the console and then uh, I do print it the same from the controller itself so you can see I've added the same from here where I generate the token I take it from the request the precisely same way I do from the filter so you might, may wonder what, what I have observed through this um, uh, uh, new addition to my example uh, it's actually that, um, well, I did, did actually discover it by debugging first uh, before adding these lines, but uh, what I have discovered is that the token is basically generated twice. So uh, that's why uh, you, uh, didn't, you couldn't use the first one. Now, if I uh, call the get endpoint, as you can see here, well, it, it's not clear here, but in the in the uh, header, I only see this CSRF token value, and this CSRF token value is basically the one that was added by my filter. But uh, mind, because I have used once per request filter, this filter is only called the first time, uh, and that means that uh, the first generated CSRF token will be added, which you can see in the console is this first one I have here uh, locked. It's the one I have locked from here, line 21, and it's precisely the one you can see in the response here, 3B8F something something. But what happened is that for some reason it seems that Spring Security regenerates this token before reaching the servlet itself. Uh, I do tend to believe this is not a really good thing. In general it wouldn't affect the application because you see if you take it from the servlet and you basically tend to use it from the servlet when you have already reached your functionality not like i've done here in a, in a filter that is placed after the csrf token uh, then it will work because you will never know this token is was generated and you will only use this one here and it will work if you uh, take this filter uh, this token here you i simply take it and i use it directly as the first time and of course I'm, I have to be sure the session ID is correct as well. Okay and send it and then, then this will work first time uh, without needing to regenerate a token. And you see then, then the token was, uh, was generated again uh, for my post request. But this is, this is what happens and this is uh, actually the real reason um, for why 
uh, the first request didn't work uh, was because uh, I was taking a token generated but then um, then uh, a new token was actually generated and my filter was not intercepting it because it's on once for request filter so it skipped that token and then I got on the response a different token than the one was uh, stored in the memory of my application. Um, yeah, initially uh, another thing I, I, I tended to believe is that it's related to the implementation of the CSRF token because by default, so you, you've now seen the default because I had it, um, um, I've had it uh, uh, commented out, but uh, by, by default you have the lazy implementation that was introduced, if I remember correctly, somewhere in uh, version 4 for something so is this la lazy csrf token repository which is a pretty nice addition because um, uh, well it actually uh, avoids storing the token if you don't use it and uh, previously with the, the http session csrf token repository or if you use the cookie csrf token token repository they uh, do store the token uh, in the memory in the server memory um, all the time even if you don't use it now with the lazy implementation this is called the lazy implementation because it actually makes sure that it stores the token only if you really access it and if you don't access it so it, it uh, seems you don't use it then it doesn't store the token so i thought it's related to that but no it's not related to that i have tried with the http session csrf token repository and it actually has the same behavior so uh yes it's somewhere i didn't go deeper than that sorry for that but it's somewhere in the implementation where if you if you place a breakpoint you will see that the token is regenerated the easiest way to see it is just put a system out in the filter and the system out in the uh in the servlet and you will see that uh until reaching the servlet actually the token is generated multiple times and again in the previous demonstration because i am using that once per request filter uh, it was only called first time and not the second time in the same request because that's why it's on once per request filter and then I did see only the first token uh, and not the one that was then previously stored the one that, that overridden the first one <laughs> strange implementation, don't know what to say uh, I won't comment more about that uh, if it's or not uh, really um, uh, really stable implementation but Finally, again, to, to get the conclusion, if you are in the controller and if you use it from the controller uh, or somehow you, you make sure that you always take the last token uh, in, if you really want to use a, C, a, a filter for that, then you won't make it an once per request. You will make it a normal filter by, for example, simply implementing the filter interface. Then you will uh, use the la latest stored token and that should work precisely at, uh, as demonstrated in my first example thank you again for your question thank you very much for uh, for being so attentive and uh, discovering these things i missed it during my first uh, my first demonstration i usually do this uh, do, do these um, videos without uh, trying them first uh, and because sometimes i i really um, uh, tried them sometimes before uh, so I'm not sure if this is a change uh, in one of the previous versions of Spring Security. I can't remember that. Uh, but this is the behavior it has now. And uh, good um, uh, for us and, uh, and uh, good that you have asked this question. Now we are, uh, and at least I am more aware of how about it and I wasn't aware about it. So uh, thank you again for that and have a great time for study.